What is going on YouTube? John here, back again with another unboxing and review. Today what I have for you is the 1-6 scale Super Sum statue by XM Studios. Now this one has been a long time coming. I mean it was announced years ago at this point and I was supposed to receive it from the place I ordered it back in December. And here it is, what, end of April and I'm just getting it today. But I'm super excited to dive into it. Super Sons is a comic book story from Peter Tomasi and Patrick Gleason that came out a few years ago and it involves Batman and Superman's son. Batman's son who's Damian Wayne who's one of the his Robins and then Superman's son who is John Kent and he's actually the current Superman and both of them back when they were younger they kind of had this like dynamic duo kind of group together called Super Sons. Uh, this is the comic book it's based off of right here. I have the omnibus uh, I got a few years ago. I love this comic. The art is great. The writing is great. It's just a lot of fun to see both of these kids interact and Honestly, now it's pretty cool to see a statue based off of them. So I'm excited to put this guy together. What I'm gonna go ahead and do for you is unbox all the pieces, put it together, and tell you what I think. How about we get started? All right, we're gonna take a look at the front of the box here. Nothing too fancy, just tells you the name of the statue and some other info. Looking at the top of the box, you see it's uh, taped with the XM Studio shipping tape. Open the top flaps, and you're met with a large envelope and the statue box. And let's take a look what's inside that envelope. If this was a quarter scale piece, it would come with an art print alongside this. But since it's one six scale, it just comes with this, which is a picture of where all the pieces go in case you want to pack it up. And also the back has a QR code for the assembly video on YouTube. Looking at the front of the box, you have the bat symbol on one side and the Superman symbol on the other. I think it's a nice touch that the Batman side starts with Robin's green kind of color palette and it kind of blends into the Superman's blue palette by the time you get to the Superman symbol. Thought that was a nice touch. All right, for the next part of this unboxing, we're gonna go ahead and undo the Velcro XM Studio straps like so. And we're gonna go ahead and take the top layer off the styrofoam tray. And we are met with all the pieces and wax paper. What we're gonna go ahead and do is magically take away all the wax paper like this so you can see all the individual pieces. And while we're at it, how about we flip this right side up? There we go, that is much better. And let's take a look at this piece by piece. Let's start with the base, which is fairly substantial. Now this base is a combination of rubble and some of the pieces of the robots that John and Damien are fighting here. Let's take a look at the bottom of the base. As you can see, this piece is number 80 out of 300 total edition size. You can see the Superman Batman symbols and it says Super Sons on the bottom. Let's take a look at some of the detail here. You see you have a muted color palette, which, you know, might be a controversial choice. I don't really mind it because I feel with everything else that's going on and all the primary colors of the characters, if this had a lot of wacky colors as well, I think it would kind of like all feel a little too busy. So I don't mind it. As you can see, the robot is very nicely sculpted, very nicely painted. I do like all the different cracks and damage that they added to the cement here. I think it's a nice touch. All right, let's move on to another piece of the statue. Let's start with uh, the legs here. These legs are from uh, the robot. I'm fast forwarding here because I took away some of the styrofoam pieces that were kind of filling the gap so it wouldn't break during shipping. But yeah, these are robot legs. Uh, they kind of remind me actually of Ed 209 from the movie RoboCop. <laughs> they look a lot like that. But yeah, I like the detail on this. As you can see, they have, oh wait, there's a piece of styrofoam here. Let me get this off real quick. Um, yeah, you can see all the bolts. You can see all the different scrapes from it, uh, them fighting it. Um, all the separation on the on the toes and everything. I think this is nicely detailed and it's actually pretty chunky. Like it, that, it has a lot of weight to it. Um, it's probably made out of polystone, I'm guessing, or cold cast porcelain, which I think is what a lot of their stuff is made out of. But yeah, nicely done here. Uh, moving on to another piece. Let's take a look at what I think is the head of this robot, I think. 
I think uh, the way this works is that John lands down on it, and as he lands, he punches down on the head and bashes it in. You can see there's a lot of nice detail on it. You see some wires. You see like the dent where he like put punches in. Nicely done here. Uh, if I had any complaint about this base is the fact that um, some of it kind of is hard to discern what is what. But this part, um, it's obviously a gun. It's strapped to the side of the leg of the robot. Um, nice little detail. It feels like maybe plasticky. I'm not sure if it's a resin or whatever. Definitely not polystone or porcelain. But the details look just like the rest of it. So no real complaints there. All right, moving on to the last few pieces of the base. You have these little panel pieces. Nothing really to write home about. They're nicely painted. They just give a little more layering and accent to the base uh, moving on let's take a look at the Damien head and cape which is actually has a hood connected to it does that make it a cloak maybe it's a cloak I think it's a cloak <laughs> but anyway uh, you see it has nice layering of blues and blacks I love the little gold accents around the the trim as you can see right here it's a nice little shiny trim uh, it's painted really well you flip it over here, you have the stark yellow on the other side of his cloak. And it has nice little uh, shadowing and nice little detail. Take a look at all the ridges that are part of the cloth, um, the cloth detail. I think it, this is really well done cape um, or cloak, I guess I should say. It's nicely done. And let's take a look at the Damien head sculpt uh, here. Uh, it's sculpted really nice. It's painted really nice. If I go ahead and close up, uh, take a little close up view of it here. Uh, the, the skin color is maybe a little flat, but not a big deal. It's, there's not a lot of texture going on. But, you know, it's a kid. It's not like a grown up that you know man that has stubble or anything like that so it makes sense he's he's clean shaven you know he has a baby face but yeah it's painted really well as you can see his uh, domino mask is nice and shiny and metallic i really like that touch uh his hair is nicely sculpted he does have a bit of a like a of a fade going on and he has a little stubble there that you can feel texturing on it's a nice touch i i really like the detail they did with the head sculpt here all right, I'm gonna go ahead and err on the side of caution and actually put this back in the styrofoam. There, it doesn't really lay flat very well and I don't wanna run a risk of maybe snapping off one of the points of this cape. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly slide this back and take a look at the Robin body next. Gonna carefully take them out of the styrofoam here. Um, yeah, and I like the details. <laughs> First of all, you got to be careful. I just poked myself uh, on my finger there with his gauntlets. These are really pointy, so be careful of either poking yourself or even snapping them off by accident. But uh, taking a closer look here, I really like the details here. I like the, the contrast between the matte finish on the arms and the legs and then the shiny finish on the armor and the pants. As you can see, there's different textures on his knee pads, on his pants, on his armor, on the utility belt. You have different little individual pouches that are nicely uh, detailed. I really like what they did here. You don't really appreciate how many uh, different sculpted details there are until you have this in hand. I'm really impressed with it. All right, let's move on and take a look at Superboy, aka Jonathan Kent. Let's take a look how he came out. Now, unlike Damien, he is all one complete piece. I'm guessing because his cape is a little less tricky than Damien's is. But uh, I, I'm pretty impressed with him as well. As you can see here, his skin texture is also a little on the flatter side. But I'm going to go ahead and like not really make a big deal about that. Because look at all this other detail. Look at the cape. All the folds and, and texturing. And not only that, but just the, the different shadowing that they did. And shading it's really nicely done I'm, I'm really happy with the way Jonathan came out here zooming in for the rest of the details here I love how his cape is incorporated into the Superman symbol which is incorporated into his jacket that's a zip up that's such a smart design by Jorge Jimenez I like the jeans here I think they're really nicely textured and look like denim and I like that he has like kind of tears where the knees are it kind of lends itself to be him being a boy that kind of tries to get into trouble um, going on adventures with Damien and I just really love Love the design of his costume. It just looks like something a kid will put together with the sneakers and the jeans and the zip up uh, jacket. Uh, I, I love this design. Uh -huh. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to go ahead, put all the pieces together of the statue, take a few pictures and tell you what I think. Let's go ahead and do that.
But before I do, let me tell you about this one thing I got that I didn't expect, which is the pre-order plaque. Now, this is a thing that XM Studios does. When you pre-order within a certain time frame at the beginning of pre-orders, you get this pre-order plaque with your purchase. And I didn't pre-order during that time period, but my guess is that the place that I bought this from did. So I was lucky enough to get it. So I thought that was pretty cool. They usually come in this little case that kind of looks like leather, but it's more like a, a real nice cardboard. Now, sometimes I do display this with my statues and sometimes I don't. But either way, it's still a nice extra to have, especially considering that I didn't expect to get it. So that's what that looks like there. All right, now with that out of the way, let's get back to our review. And let's start with the base because at the end of the day, I'm all about that base, about that base, 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 base. Can't have a statue without it, am I right? So moving on, let's go ahead and put the next piece of the statue, which should be the head on the base. This one's a little tricky. Just be patient with getting the key in the keyhole correctly. All right, coming up next should be the two panel pieces on the base. These are little keyholes, so just be careful as you put them in. Don't be too hard. You don't want to snap them off. All right, now that we have most of the base put together, let's go ahead and start with some of the main pieces. We're gonna start with Superboy. We're gonna go ahead and try to key him in now. The trick to putting him in smoothly into the base is to use his fist as a guideline to where he should be, and then carefully putting the keyhole in the key of his foot into the base. Make sure to lightly press down on the key so it disappears into the base. After that, you're going to go ahead and take the uh, Ed 209 legs and place them behind Superboy. Now, the trick to this one is the left leg, you kind of swing underneath a part of the base where you can see that the legs would rest. And you kind of do that until the keyhole on his right leg kind of slides into place just like that. After that, you place the gun that's attached to the legs. It's gonna have a key there and a keyhole there, and you just kinda line them up together and it snaps right into place, just like that. And we're closing in on the home stretch here. We're gonna put together Robin next. I'm gonna start with his body. Uh, he has a big key right there. It goes in the keyhole on top of the robot legs. He's tilted a little bit to the side because he's jumping over Superboy, so keep that in mind. Slides in pretty easily. Next up is going to be his head and his cloak. And that also has a pretty large size key, as I'm gonna show you right here. And it goes in the hole on top of his body. Pretty easy stuff. Make sure not to snap any of the edges of the cape. Make sure there's not anything around you. And he kind of slides in just like so. Not too hard because gravity does all the work. Forgot to show you these when I was showing you the other pieces. Damon comes with two batarangs, as you can see here. Uh, one in each hand. So I'm going to go ahead and place those now. No real tricks to these. You just kind of wiggle them until they kind of fall into place. As you can see here. First, I'm going to do his left hand like so. And next, I am going to do his right hand like this. Easy peasy. And there you have it, folks. This is the XM Studios 1-6 scale Super Sun statue. I'm a big fan of this. I love all the details. It's very dynamic. Um, if I had any complaint, which is minor, is that the base is a little too subdued as far as the muted color palette, which I don't mind because it does help accentuate Damien and Jonathan. But the problem there is that because of the muted colors, the robot pieces are kind of hard to discern. So that's my one gripe with that. But overall, I'm really happy with the statue. I'm glad that it's in my collection. I'm so glad that especially there's a Damien statue. That's really what I wanted. He's my favorite Robin of all time. While Dick Grayson kind of kept Batman honest by being very jovial and kind of like was his good side. Damien actually keeps Bruce honest, Batman honest, by being a little bastard that he has to always check in on. He always has to be a better version of himself to be an example to his son, and I thought that's a really interesting dynamic. 
And that's what I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell notification. It'll let you know anytime I put up a new video. It's been a little less frequent as of late just because my collection is reaching critical mass where I'm running out of room. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed what you saw here. Until next time.